If you think action cameras have peaked, hold on. The next DJI Osmo action might be about to flip the script. Leaks point to an Osmo Action 6 with a variable aperture lens from f2.0 to f4.0 and a larger 1 to 1.1 inch stacked sensor co-developed with Sony. Translation. More control in bright light, cleaner footage in the dark, and a look that's closer to a real camera than a tiny box strapped to your helmet. Quick reality check before we dive in. These details come from credible leaks ahead of DJI's November 13th launch. Specs can change, but if this holds, it's a big deal. Now here's why this rumored camera has creators buzzing, and what it would actually mean for your shots. Let's start with that variable aperture. Most action cams are stuck at one f-stop, which is why they blow out skies at noon, force unnatural fast shutter speeds, and make you slap ND filters on the lens just to keep motion blur looking natural. An f2.0 to f4.0 range gives you real exposure control. Shooting midday on the trail? Stop down to f4.0, keep your shutter near the 180 degree rule, and your footage keeps that smooth cinematic blur instead of jittery crispy edges. Indoors or at sunset? Open to f2.0, pull in more light, and keep ISO from creeping into noisy territory. And because aperture controls depth of field, you'll get a touch more separation at f2.0. It won't turn an action cam into a portrait lens, but it will make subjects pop a little more. Helmets, handlebars, boards, especially with that larger sensor. Plus, variable aperture helps tame LED flicker and mixed lighting, which is huge for indoor gyms, warehouses, or city nights. That sensor is the second headline. A 1.1 inch stacked CMOS is a substantial jump with roughly 40% more light sensitive area than the previous model. Bigger photo sites, better dynamic range, cleaner shadows, improved low light. That's the promise. The stacked design means faster readout, which reduces rolling shutter and helps stabilization in HDR. Leaks claim more than 13 stops of dynamic range. If true, that's strong for an action camera. Think brighter skies that still show cloud detail, faces that don't crush to black, and night scenes that hold color without turning into mush. Now the spicy part. Resolutions and codecs. The leaks say 8K at 30 frames per second with HDR and ProRes, plus 5.3K at 60 and 4K at 120. If you're thinking 8K on an action cam, really? I get it. Here's the real world value. First, oversampling. Even if you deliver in 4K, capturing at 8K can give you a sharper, cleaner, final image and room to punch in for reframing without killing quality. Second, ProRes. That's a professional codec that's easier to edit, holds up better in heavy grades, and avoids the plastic, overcompressed look. If you've ever tried to color a tiny H.265 file and watched it fall apart, you know why this matters. For slow motion, 4K at 120 FPS is the sweet spot. A perfect combo of resolution and speed for surfing. Snow, basketball, anything that needs buttery detail. And 5.3K at 60 gives you that extra crispness if you like to stabilize and slightly crop in post. Throw HDR on top and we're talking highlight protection and shadow detail that makes bright days look natural instead of blown out. Let's talk runtime. Because all the resolution in the world is useless if the battery dies. The Osmo Action 6 is rumored to pack a 1950mm cell and push up to 4 hours of use. Real talk. That probably won't be four hours of 8K, but if the efficiency is solid, you could see multi-hour time lapses, long 4K sessions, and less battery anxiety on day trips. Pair that with fast charging and you've got a camera ready for actual adventures, not just spec sheets. Durability and convenience matter too. IP68 up to 20 meters, about 66 feet, without a case means you can hit the water, the rain, or the snow with fewer accessories and fewer failure points. Built-in 64GB storage is a quiet lifesaver. Everyone has forgotten their SD card at least once. With onboard storage, you still get the shot. Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1 mean quicker transfers to your phone, more reliable connections, and smoother remote control. Speaking of remote control, the rumored smartwatch linking is clever. Imagine starting and stopping recording from your wrist, switching modes without touching the camera, and seeing live stats overlaid on your footage, heart rate on a run, calories burned on a ride, pace, elevation. Fitness creators, this is your new data-rich storytelling tool. No more messy post-production overlays. No more third-party hacks. Just record and go. Now I know what you're thinking. Sounds amazing. What's the catch? A few things to watch at launch. Heat, 8K, and ProRes are both demanding. 
How long can it record before it shuts down? What are the clip limits? If DJI nails thermal design, it's a win. If not, it's a spec you use rarely. Storage and file sizes are another factor. ProRes at high resolution eats space like crazy. Built-in 64GB helps in a pinch, but you'll want fast, high-capacity cards ready. Mechanical complexity is a third point. A variable aperture involves moving parts. DJI builds solid gear, but durability under vibration, sand, salt, and freezing temps will be the real test. There's also field of view. Larger sensors sometimes tighten the view unless the lens gets wider. We'll want to see if DJI keeps that classic wide action cam perspective without heavy distortion. And stabilization, Rocksteady or whatever version they ship, has to keep up with higher resolutions. Smooth counts more than sharp on an action cam. If DJI delivers both, that's the magic. So who is this camera for if the leaks are real? If you're a mountain biker, snowboarder, or surfer who shoots in brutal daylight, variable aperture alone could be a game changer. You'll keep motion blur looking natural without juggling ND filters. Night Ride City content creators and vloggers? That larger stacked sensor at f2.0 means cleaner faces, richer colors, and less noisy neon. Divers and swimmers get native 20-meter waterproofing without a bulky case, and you can trust your white caps won't turn into blown highlights. Fitness and outdoor storytellers get smartwatch control and live data overlays that make every video look like a polished production. No extra hassle. If you're a filmmaker or editor, the ProRes option is the hook. Being able to match an action cam to your ACAM workflow without fighting compression artifacts is huge. And if you shoot a lot of content for clients, 8K acquisition with 4K delivery gives you reframing flexibility that saves takes and adds production value. If you already own an Osmo Action 4 or 5 Pro and you shoot mostly casual clips in auto, will you feel the difference? Yes, especially in tough light. But the biggest wins are for people who care about exposure control, edit-ready files, and low-light performance. If you've been flirting with GoPro or Insta360, this could pull you back into DJI's orbit. Let's be honest. The most important question is how this thing feels in the hand and in the timeline. Does it power on fast? Are the menus obvious? Does it recover highlights gracefully? Do skin tones look natural in HDR? Do you trust it on a helmet at 30 miles an hour? Specs don't answer those questions, but they set the stage. And right now, the stage looks promising. A few quick buying notes as we head into launch week. If you need a camera today for a trip tomorrow, grab what's available and go shoot. No camera makes memories for you. But if you can wait until November 13th, do it. Watch for official confirmation of sensor size, aperture range, exact dynamic range, stabilization performance, and heat limits at 8K and ProRes. Check whether the built-in storage is fast enough for the top modes, or if some features require a V90 card. Look for real-world battery tests in cold and heat, and confirm whether the smartwatch features work with the watch you already own. If everything checks out, this might be the first action cam in a while that feels like more than a yearly refresh. Variable aperture for creative control, a larger stacked sensor for cleaner, richer footage, 8K HDR and ProRes for post-production power, real waterproofing, built-in storage for emergencies, and wrist control for athletes and creators who hate stopping the flow. This is the right kind of upgrade. What do you want to see tested on launch day? Heat and clip limits at 8K? Low light noise at f2.0? Highlight roll-off at noon? Smartwatch overlay accuracy? Drop your wish list because that's what I'm checking first. And if you're excited to see what DJI actually announces on November 13th, stick around. I'll be breaking it down with real footage, not just leaks. Until then, keep your shutter steady, your horizon level, and your stories rolling. If these rumors hold, the Osmo Action 6 won't just capture your adventures. It might finally do them justice.